All right, guys, in this vehicle specific video, we're going to be doing a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. We're going to be doing all the side windows and the rear window. So let's start with the outside prep and then we'll get to the lower gasket removal and then do the inside prep. We'll lay the dryer sheet out. All right, now the first thing you want to do on the Volkswagen Jetta or any other Volkswagen, when you have the key on, on one click or with the push button one press, you will hear the door chime. Just like any other GM vehicle, you want to trick the latch. That'll stop the chime. And then to pull out the gasket on this door, we're going to remove this piece of trim here. There's going to be a T30 Torx tip behind this plastic right here. And then we're going to roll it off and pull the gasket out. So to take this plastic off, I use a hard card, like the gold card or even the white card. And you want to shove it between the panel and that piece of trim to pop it off. Just sliding it back and forth around the back and then forward. And that'll release it. Sometimes the clips will fall out for the front part. And you can see that fell out right there. So you can see the three black clips here. There's one missing, which is the one that fell out. We can just pop that back into place. Then we'll take our T30 Torx tip, which is right here. Just make sure that you keep track of this little washer that's on there. Keep that with it. And then in order to pull the panel off, we're only gonna take the top of the panel and not, not the bottom of the panel. We need to roll the window down. You can check on the other side. I'm just gonna roll it back. And then once you have this, this part released from the gasket, we're gonna take our gasket jamming stick from the back here. And there's one clip here, just like any, on any other door panel, you're gonna stick it in there and just twist it while pulling back on the top at the same time. And that'll release this clip here. Then we can go ahead and release the rest of the top. And then we're gonna take our trim tool, pull the panel back, stick the trim tool between the gasket and the actual body of the car or the door. Pop that up, and once it releases, you can go ahead and pull up and out. And once the gasket is out, you can roll the window back up to the position we're going to be cleaning it in, which is about an inch from the top. And let's go ahead to the back door, and then we'll do the inside part. So the same exact thing with the back door. You can roll the window down first, since you're going to have to anyway. Stick the hard car between the gasket, between the door panel and the trim, wherever it'll actually slide in. You might have to go from the top. Pull away. Be careful when you come to this little speaker area because I have had one instance where I pulled too hard here and I actually broke the speaker piece off. So try to stick the hard car between there and pop it off that way. Typically the uh, that washer piece doesn't release on the back door, only the front door. It's embedded in the panel there. And then we'll grab the panel from where the window doesn't roll all the way down, so you only have this area to grab. So we'll grab that, roll it back, and do the same thing with the gasket jamming stick to release this clip back here. And then we can release the top of the rest of the panel. The front won't come all the way off, that's fine. We can grab it from the back. You just wanna release as much pressure as you can off of the panel. So we'll pull the panel back, stick the trim tool between the gasket and the door. Pop it up, and pull it up and out. Then we can roll the window up to the cleaning position and we'll go ahead with the inside prep. Now when you're cleaning the inside of a Volkswagen door without frameless windows, so the framed window, you want to try to get as much water between the film and the glass, well, between the glass and the gasket as possible so that it's nice and lubricated on the sides because they do tend to be a lot tighter than most other vehicles. And then we'll use the gasket wrapped in a blue hawk towel to go down the sides. This will help loosen up the gasket as well. And then of course, since we didn't wipe the bottom of the, of the window, now that we have it rolled up, we can wipe that edge. The window's all nice and clean. Let's do the same thing to the back door and then lay out the bulk material. All 
All right, now we'll lay out the bulk material. We're going to be doing SunTech Standard Pro 20% on all the sides in the rear window. Just like any other vehicle, we'll soak up the window, lay out the material, then we'll cut it out. Lay out the back door. And we'll start with cutting out the front door. The first thing you want to do, just like any other vehicle, this, this is very common. The only thing different about this car is that the gasket is very tight on the back edge. The cutting method is pretty much the same. Line up the bottom edge, cut the front, shift it forward a quarter an inch, mount it in place and cut the back. So let's do that. Line up the bottom, cut the front edge, shift it forward a quarter, keeping that bottom edge lined up all the way to the bottom. Since we do have the gasket removed, we don't have to worry about too much material being down there. We'll mount it in place after shifting it forward. Cut the back edge. We'll cut the extra material off here and this will be good for the quarter window on the back door. We'll lay that out. Just gonna mount it in place for now. Using the straight edge to line up to the front edge. Mount it in place. Could actually cut this out right now. I like to cut the bottom edge first. The front edge is already lined up with that straight edge. And this window has, doesn't have dot matrix. It has pretty similar to dot matrix, but it's a straight line. It's a ceramic paint that's on the glass on the inside. So we're gonna follow about an eighth of an inch, maybe even a little bit more, maybe a 16th of an inch on the black side of that line. Nice and tight because on the inside, the gasket is very close to this. So now we got the front edge cut, shifted forward a quarter, mounted in place and the back edge is cut. We can roll this down and cut the top edge. Mount that top edge in place. We can clean up our corners. Keep the bottom corners nice and tight, small. And we'll mount this on the outside to be installed. We can do our spray squeegee spray. Spraying down the side again, just to make sure it's nice and lubricated. Flushing down the back and across the bottom. And then we'll grab the film from the outside. And just like any other vehicle that we have the weather stripping removed, we'll drop the front edge in first, get that lined up, slowly work the back edge in. And then slide it back into place. Now the main key here with this, like I said, the back edge is going to be tight. So putting a lot of pressure on the window will help it open up that gap a little bit so that the film can work in there easier. We'll line up as best as we can, then we'll check it from the outside to make sure there's not a gap on the back edge. You can see there is a slight gap, so I'm going to move that back a little bit more. You want to do this quickly because with the pressure on the film, it will set up very fast. And we look good. We have extra material there, but I'll show you guys how to work that out. The main key is to get the majority of the film mounted in place as quick as possible. And then we'll work on that back edge without squeegeeing onto this air pocket. You don't want to squeegee that yet. The whole key is we're going to put pressure on this window to again make that pressure against the gasket a lot less. Push it into place. 
and then I'll take my yellow contour work from the top and very carefully bring it down keeping consistent pressure on the entire yellow contour Now we're going to push out the top edge and get this window up as quick as possible so we can work the rest of that down before it gets too dry right there. We'll give the top edge a quick look, make sure it's laying down all nice and smooth. We don't want to roll it up and have it rub on the top gasket and peel. So we'll check that. We'll push out the front edge with the yellow contour. Make sure the top back corner is laid down smoothly. And we'll roll this up really quick. Now this doesn't always happen. If you get enough water stuck between there, this won't happen. But all you have to do is grab the corner, pull it away, and pull down. And it should flow into that corner really easily. We'll squeegee this out first. And we we'll use our easy reach to get more pressure. And we just have a very faint mark here in the film that we can work out. A little air pocket. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit while I push out the rest of the window. Those little imperfections on the side is something we can come to after the rest of the vehicle is done so that it gives it time to set up and it'll work out a lot easier because it's ready to stick. So we'll push out the front side and then we'll shrink these fingers. Using the gray Litco card. Very easy to shrink. And we'll wipe down the panel and check it from the outside and move on to the back door. Everything looks good. We have, have a few marks over here, but we're gonna work those out, like I said, once the vehicle is all done. These are just little air pockets from the, uh, the film not sitting in there properly. Could actually work them out right now. Be careful not to heat this rubber edge up too much. If it gets too hot, it gets glossy and there's no way to bring that back. That we'll come back to after doing the rest of the windows. Let it sit for a little bit. So we move on to the back door. Just like any other rear window or rear door window, we're going to line up the bottom edge, do the same thing as a front door, but we're either going to shift it back instead of forward. So line up the bottom, cut the back. We'll shift it back about a quarter of an inch. Keep the bottom lined up, mount it all in place. Then we'll cut the front edge. Cut the excess material off. And we'll roll it down and cut the top. Very simple back window or back door window. The only thing different about this is the gaskets are tight. Go ahead and round out the edges. Continue our front and back sides. Bottom corners. Mount it in place and install it. Very straightforward. Again, making sure that you get the water between the gasket and the glass, since it is tight. We don't want the same thing to happen on the on the back door as it did on the front. The more water you get in there, down to the bottom, the better. Do a spray squeegee spray. Flush it out. Again, dropping the front edge in first. 
locking that top corner in, sliding it into place, and then laying down the back. Pulling it backwards to line up this front edge, and then make sure that front edge gets in there nice and even, and then we can line up the top. Again, we'll check it from the outside to make sure there's not a gap on this front edge. Looks good. We've got the same situation that we had on the front door. I'll just squeegee this down. Push out the top edge. And then we'll work on that. Make sure the top edge is laid down nicely and push out those corners. Then we can roll it up, get that corner pulled down. And I get that corner in and work it down into place, Put it, pushing a lot of pressure to make sure the film doesn't skip. into place and we can squeegee the rest of the window and shrink the fingers that are remaining after we squeegee it. Soapy water and then the gray Lidco card. Is all good. We'll give it a check on the outside. Swipe it down. And we look good. So we can jump onto the quarter glass window now. So this is already cut out. We can grab it. We can lay it on the car and leave it here and peel the release liner like that. I'm going to hold it in my hand and peel it freehand. So we'll give this a spray squeegee spray. I'll peel the liner, spray it up really quick, and apply it with your palm. All right. Now you can see the film is bun bunching up here. Like I said before, you got to keep that cut really tight because this rubber gasket is very close to the edge. So we'll get that to overhang and we'll cut that off afterwards. You see how I overhung it onto the gasket? So we'll make sure our edges have no light gaps. Hold it in place with a thumb. Squeeze it out. Work your way down. And then that, that material uh, went on a 90 degree there. And after it tacks up, we can cut that off. You can even leave it. It's not bad, but I'll cut it off just to keep it nice and clean. And we'll go over this with a heat gun on the outside. Just push it on the edges that aren't laying down properly. Heat them up from the outside. Push from the inside with the hard card. We look good, so we're gonna lay out the rear window, which I pre-cut. Just like any other back window, if you're gonna lay this out when you hand cut it, if you are gonna hand cut, just make sure that on this vehicle specifically, you cut very close to that edge of the dot matrix. So you literally wanna be right here with the razor blade when you cut it out. You wanna be exact because the inside panels are very close, if not hanging over the dot matrix. So the closer you are right to that edge, the easier it'll be when you go to install it. All right, we'll lay out the pre-cut for the rear window. Remember with the pre-cuts, you do not have to line it up at exact. If you are doing pre-cuts, just as close as possible. Since we aren't cutting it, it doesn't really matter. We'll line it up with the H pattern. And then we'll go ahead and shrink it with our felt hard card. Okay. 
It's a very straightforward rear window to shrink. Maybe a little bit more difficult than easy, but um, the fingers are fairly big, but it's pretty straightforward. No special method needed. Just like any other rear window, shrink it the same way. Now before we go forward with the inside prep, we're gonna do what we always do on the back window after shrinking it, is squeegee out the perimeter if you are peeling the film off of the rear window. So we remove any debris from around the edges. All right, so now when we're doing the back window on a Volkswagen Jetta, you're gonna to wanna to remove the head headrests. They're very easy to remove. Um, you will have to release the seats but what you need to do is push the button on the side and then there's a little notch on the side of the, uh, this post holder that you just gotta push a trim tool or a hook tool into. But we will have to release the seats from it within the trunk to remove these, but let's just remove, release those pins first. The middle one you can take out without putting the seat up. So you see there's a little latch here and then if you go on the inside, we're gonna pull the latch and at the same time, push the seat forward. If you just pull the latch on the back, it typically won't release the seat. You gotta do it at the same time. So we'll pull the latch and push the seat forward. Take the headrest, throw it in the trunk. We can close it back up. All right, now we have a wide open area to work in. We're gonna do our standard rear window prep, which is spraying it, scrubbing it with the non-score pad, and then do our spray squeegee spray. We use our scrubber to get behind the brake light and the rear deck. Then we can release the scrubbing pad from the scrubber and get the rest of the window. Then we use our blue huck towel to remove any debris that the scrubber removed. Also wiping down the side panels and the lower deck lid. Then we can do our spray squeegee spray and we'll grab the film from the outside. across that bottom edge, behind the brake light and the lower deck. Then we can go ahead and grab the material off of the back window. Peel the liner, soak it up really nice. Then we can go ahead and grab the material, Frankenstein method. Then just like any other back window, we have a nice open area to work with, so it's a lot less stressful. Lay up that bottom edge first, slide it down behind the brake light and the rear deck lid. The whole key here is to get one side lined up first since this these C pillars overlap the window and then shove that one side in then we can lay the other side down and then even them out so as long as you get one side in first then you can slide the other side in makes it a lot easier so we'll make sure we have even coverage smooth out all the air pockets with our hand making sure you spray soapy water on the film side so that your hand glides smoothly and then we can squeegee this into place nice overlapping strokes push out the top edge and then we'll side swiper across the bottom and then hit it with the bulldozer bulldozer behind the brake light and then since the C pillar is overlapping the window I like to take the gray lid card and just push into the sides 
to make sure we have that water pushed out between the film and the glass all the way through. And then there's a few spots we're gonna have to heat from the outside to lay this down. You can see from the outside right here, there's a little air pocket, a little finger that popped up. So if we heat from the outside and push the, from the inside with the gray Laco card, that'll lay right down. But in the meantime, let's wipe the inside of the window, clean up the puddle of water that ends up here on the deck lid. Wipe the seat pillars and the seats down. And we'll go from the outside and wipe that off and heat from the outside and push out those fingers. Now you can see on this side we have about three fingers. One, two, two fingers. It's gonna heat it up. Make sure the heat transfers through the glass. Push it out. It may take a couple tries, but once all that water evaporates and the, the heat transfers through the glass to the film side, it'll lay down very nicely. Even check the rest of it just to make sure. We have a slight handle increase. Nothing serious. Work that out with a little chiseler. Laid right down. We can go to the other side and push those out and we'll be done. Let's start with the lower one. On the lower side of the glass, it tends to get harder to push out with the gray Laco because it's so tight against the window. You may have to use an easy reach to get between that C-pillar and the glass itself, which I'll use the easy reach. And that fits right in there. And that looks good. So now we can move on to reinstalling the weather strippings and we'll be done with this car. So with the back door, remember it's gonna be very tight on the front edge. So we take the gasket, make sure it's in the right position. Obviously this cutout here would be here. So that matches up. We'll pull the, pull the panel back, line it up onto the channel and push it forward. Line it up with this rear pillar and just push it down into place. Now to get the door panel back into place, we gotta roll it onto the gasket. So push and pull the top back and that'll line up. Sometimes the panel won't click completely down into the gasket, so you may just have to push it down with your thumbs. And other than that, give it a punch or smack right here, just to make sure that that clip right there is fully engaged into the door. Then we'll go ahead and put that T30 torch tip back in. And we can reinstall this trim piece. Line it up and just give it a tap. Then we'll move on to the front door. Same thing here, just pull back on the door panel. Put the gasket onto the channel. Push it down into place, make sure it's snug on the door and then roll it on top. One thing with this door is this little light here that's part of the door lock. It may end up popping out. So let's pull this back. It actually did pop out, you see right here. It just very simply clicks back into place, so just be careful of that. If you don't see that, then you need to put it back. Pop it into place, push it down into the gasket. Make sure that clip is engaged, and then we'll put our T30 Torx tip back. And then the trim piece. And the only other thing you have to do is put the headrest back in, which is self-explanatory, and release the latch on the door. And that is how you tint a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. I'll see you guys in the next video.